What up, y'all? Today, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm stopping by to see my friend, dermatologist, surgeon, Dr. Jing Jing. Let's go. Well, tell so you guys, my friend, Dr. Jing Jing, she's like one of the top dermatologists here in the city of Atlanta. The name of her company is um, Pretty Faces Atlanta. We've been friends since she was still in medical school, okay? So we've been down with each other since the beginning when we were in the trenches trying to figure this thing out. Anyway, I'm so proud of her because now she's like doing everybody's skin, making everybody look beautiful. And I think she also is now has ventured into some plastic surgery for people. But what I am here for is to see what she can do to keep me looking young, honey. Cause I am over 40 now. <laughs> and you know I need a little. So this is my friend, Jing Jing. But to the world she's known as Dr. Jing Jing. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Hi everybody, I do um, skincare, uh, liposuction, aesthetics, all those things. But my main specialty really is pigmented skin. That's the thing that most everyone comes to see me for. It's about pigmented skin issues. Mm -hmm. But of course this person I've known like on almost 20 years it's and she has no now. pigmented skin issues well i have issues and so we'll talk about that so we're gonna talk about a couple of things so as you know i'm 43 okay so as you get in your 40s you know there are a couple of things you start noticing about yourself i notice my forehead lines we call those residual lines and what is yeah. and what do we do about those so okay residual lines so let me get some gloves real quick. So as we grow wiser in life, mm -hmm. okay, we have these things called residual lines. Now I have some right now because my residents haven't shown up yet. They're gonna show up in November. Oh no, I'm sorry, uh, February, second month. So I have some residual lines. So if we'll use me as an example, right now you see I'm making a surprise face. And then if you're close up and you were able to, to see us in person, okay, the surprise, that's surprise. You're surprised too. Mm -hmm. That's what we do when we, mm -hmm. ah, you do the same thing, okay? The problem is that we have all these lines in here, right? And then when we relax, if you're close enough, you'll be able to see that we have some grooves and those grooves dictate what our surprise lines are, okay? So unfortunately, we're gonna have to come back to you beautiful not surprised face okay but this is no but see here's the thing so for me i like the crazy facial expressions that i be making and i think people like them too no, because they, they always do. be making those no, no. memes they and do. different things they do. They do. and plus i'm an actress now. yes yes yes, um, yes you are you doing are, you are an television actress. too absolutely 100 percent. so with that being said i don't want to you do anything that will take away my facial expression. expressions. Yeah. But I still want to look youthful. Yeah. So what can you do to help me with that? So we'll have to figure out which lines can go and which lines can't. So if we're going to do this forehead right here. Okay, let me pull up this mirror. Okay. You see this one? Mm -hmm. Forehead raised up, right? Mm -hmm. You see we've got the 11s, 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. You see this one right here? And a little bunchiness right in here. But so I don't probably can change it. No, no, we can relax it, not change it. Okay. And then when you're talking about here, we're one, two, three, four, what we call residual lines. Mm -hmm. Now you re re relax your face. Relax mm -hmm. the whole entire face. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Everything is relaxed, but we still see kind of the residual lines. Mm -hmm. That's what we aim for. Okay. It's mostly the residual. Mm -hmm. For you, as long as I've known you for 20 years, I know you got these expressions that you know for them. Mm -hmm. So I don't ever touch down in here the brow too much mm -hmm. but a little tiny bit right in here a little tiny bit right up in here mm -hmm. i think you'll be fine what you want to do first i think today we'll do a little well today we're going to do some micro extraction that's your standard thing but micro extraction what's that microdermabrasion oh that's what we're gonna do now after i do that can i put my makeup back on 
Yeah. Well, I need to, you know, I don't like walking around with my dark circle showing. Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to And I have a meeting today. The, uh, uh, every time I walk around somewhere with these dark circles showing, people be like, "Okay, so yeah, let's ease into it. it. We're gonna ease into it. Okay, okay. we're gonna do a micro extraction today because that's your standard kind of thing, right? Okay, no problem. We're gonna do a little touch on the forehead. I won't touch anything else because I know that we need these eyebrows to to make all the expressions that they're gonna make. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put a touch under, just okay. a touch. Okay because I don't want any bunching underneath, mm -hmm. but I want to work on tone. And I need you to commit to the creams and all the stuff. Okay. You go every time with all the stuff, and then someone else has the stuff, okay? I need you to do the stuff. You are okay. solely expert and speaking mouth of the whole generation. Everybody want to kind of follow what you do. So you got to do... You, you see? I, did you see what I just did? I made you like, you're the one. Uh, no, you didn't. You're the... She a gassed me up. Okay. <laughs> All right, you gotta do it. You gotta do the stuff. Okay, girl. Well, you let's... You gotta do the stuff. Let's get some stuff I send done. you stuff all the time, but you need to use it. And don't tell me six months from now, oh, I have still have that green thing you sent. No. Use it. Okay? So a little tiny bit of Botox as far as where the Botox is gonna go. I'm gonna tether the line. Always tether the forehead. Okay, a couple little bit into the sides, okay, a little bit around here, and mm -hmm. a little bit under here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now that's all I'm gonna do for today. So, by the way, this lip, pretty powerful by Candy Coated Cosmetics. Yes. And um, in the foundation I use, I really just use a BB cream from Candy Coated Cosmetics, but we haven't released that BB cream because we're trying to get more colors in, so. Um, you can't get it yet, but I got it, so this is all. Kids come with cosmetics. Now, I'm gonna take this makeup off of you and I know you look at a mess. Uh, here we go. We ain't got to those circles yet. That was that's the problem. The circles is the problem, honey. See the skin, on. I don't have bad okay. skin. Thanks just, to Jean just Jean. Just do I don't have uh, you know like old bump scars. I don't have those. No. Thanks to no, Miss no, no, no. Dr. Jean Jean, Jean over here. Now, I definitely used the cream back when I had all the acne issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got you. Okay, and she on. got rid stop of that. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Because I don't want you to just completely lose your mouth, okay? What? Just this little furrow area between the two brows. That's all I need. I'm I was prepared sure. to take it off. It's like okay. You just, you know. Because I want people to understand why I'm so self conscious about this. This is a big I'm gonna step. I'm going to keep one on this and is... one off, and you're going to see. This is a big step. And I'm very honored. You see? This, this looks like I got a black eye under like there. Like She's it. trying to stop me from showing you. It just look like mascara, really. It don't look. It's not mascara. It's a big black circle. It's not a black circle. I'm gonna tell you something. It's when I was a kid, black. you know how you be on the bus, you know, joning each other or ragging on each other. This little boy said to me one day, he called me Black Eyed P. <laughs> yes. Because of my dark circles. And when I tell you, he scarred me for life. He scarred me for mess. life. When I found out about concealer, I said nobody will ever see my dark circles again. So, uh, see, so back in this, in this earlier this season on the Housewives, when everybody was talking about things that they're subconscious about, I said my dark circles, and people thought, "Girl, you." Everybody's telling all these heartfelt stories about how they were broken no, no, it's from. Real. It's different things they going through. But I said dark circles and people like, you're really, you're being so shallow. It's real but I'm life. like, y'all don't understand. That it's it's dark life. circles. It's real life. That black eye pee coming, it scarred me. Okay, so just to give you guys, this side I wiped off the concealer. So you see the dark circle? This side I got concealer. Typically you see me on a re regular day, you will never see these dark circles. I always get on concealer. Even when I don't even have a foundation, I still cover up them dark circles. So a lot of people don't even know I have dark circles because I never show them. But I wish I was that girl that could just wake up in the morning with no makeup. Now, I have good skin. Thanks to Dr. Jing Jing, I do not have blemishes. It's like that over my whole face. No blemishes, oh, no, no marks. Hold on. I'm sorry. We're going to fix the dark circles. I'm just making sure that we got that part, okay? The reason why I have dark circles is because I do not 
do what she tells me to do, which is she gives me this cream that you pretty much can only get from you, right? Yes, yes. You can only get the cream from Dr. Jing Jing, and it gets rid of blemishes, dark circles, and everything. But you have to be consistent with it. Yes. And I, that's why she calls me a bad patient. I have not been consistent. I still love her, though. I, just all over the place, I don't You're use busy, it okay. like I'm supposed to. But it does work because that was the thing I was using initially when I got rid of the old bumps. You know how we all have old pimple marks and different things. She got rid of all it. The dark circle thing, it's kind of, um, it's a bunch of things. There's nothing ever that we could ever say that is one cause specifically, okay? Some patients, it's genetic. You look at the parents, okay? Other patients, it's very allergy related. We live in Atlanta where some people say their allergies are great, but actually we have so much of this pine, uh, pine cone, but whatever the cause is, it's not abnormal for patients to have this very circular ring on both sides, okay? It can be tiredness, allergies, genetics, a bunch of things, okay? But you get this nice big circle of hyperpigmentation. So we're gonna really try to target that. But again, she said that she's gonna be a good patient. So we're gonna hold her to those values at this moment, okay? And she's gonna be a good patient. And this is a, this is a good thing, because it's actually gonna force her to be a good patient now that we put it on film and everything. Okay, yeah, so the I'm makeup is gone. Right now, I still have some lashes on. These just kind of just glue on, honey. Ain't no special lashes. But you see these dark circles. So this is why I do not like to walk around with no makeup. That's why I don't like to just jump up with no makeup. Because if I go places, people will be like, oh, you're so tired. You're not getting any rest. Oh, you're so tired. I'll be like, I just woke up. I'd be so mad when people say that to me because I'm like, it doesn't matter if I slept the entire night. Yeah, you still They're still to. there. That's just me. That's who I am. Get into it. Okay. Alright, people. I'm being y'all guinea pig today. So, if you need to try any of this, hit up Dr. Jing Jing. She'll get your skin looking right. And as you can see, like I said, I don't have any bumps and all that. But it's just these dark circles. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna work on the dark circles. We're gonna fix it. just finished the microdermabrasion on my face and basically like changing well, Dr. Jing Jing said it just basically takes like a dead layer of skin off you know what I mean and you know clears out your pores so for me I do that I try to do it like once a year sometimes I don't get here as often as I should but because I just like to I just want to have good skin and so now I'm about to try on my forehead. So for my under eye area, I am just gonna try the topical cream that lightens the darkness. Um, I know I've seen people online do all kind of stuff, get injections and all kind of stuff, but I ain't trying all that. I'm just gonna let them give me the, the cream to lighten the dark circles. When I tether this, okay, and what does when that I tether mean? this, tether means I put a lock down on this. Okay. okay. And I put a lock down here, then this is going to go. Through. 
this. You're gonna be a little bit more irritated when you become irritated. What does that mean? You're gonna have a little lift on this. But this hey. lift right here pulls this little eyebrow. The eyebrow? Oh. That's what, what I need, to yeah, yeah, that's what these eyebrows I'm doing. That's what I'm, my point is, okay? So mm -hmm. I give you a lot of play in here. Not too much play, okay? You mm -hmm. don't want to look crazy. But we give you a little play right in here. We tether this and we tether this. And now you're going to be more bright. Okay. okay. So when you see things, you'll be like, yes, I have more sternness about me. Mm -hmm. But you won't be super, super angry. Mm -hmm. You'll be stern and annoyed. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I've been poked, I've been prodded, and hopefully I am on into the beauty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me give myself a couple weeks, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to see if these dark circles, if that black eye pee went away. Well, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and drop some comments down below. Share the video, you know. And if you want to see more just life things and figuring some stuff out, I'll go ahead and be your guinea pig. Let me know what you want me to do and what you're trying to figure out you want to try. Okay? Now, I ain't going to try everything, but at least we can find some people that do it and they can give us some information. All right? All right.